Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about all things digital planning, digitally organizing your life, digitally organizing tasks, time blocking and scheduling, all of those things. If that is of interest to you, then please keep watching. Okay, so first of all, we need to address the elephant in the room. Yes, I am a paper planner. I really feel like my world is split up until I went to college. I didn't have an iPad, I didn't have a smartphone, I didn't have a laptop, I didn't have any of that. So I did everything using paper. I had binders and notebooks and journals and, and planners and agendas and all of that. And then when I went to college, that's when I was introduced really to the world of technology. And then that's when I was taking notes on my iPad and buying digital textbooks and all of that stuff. So I really feel like my world is divided, but I really also feel like there are pros and cons to each of the systems. Again, I use them both, I love them both, but I wanna share with you guys why I even dibble and dabble in digital planning and what it actually does for me that paper planning cannot. So if that is of interest to you, then please keep watching. Paper planning, I love writing things down. I love being able to do that because I really feel like I'm able to commit tasks and all of those types of things to memory as opposed to everything kind of being automated and digital and all of that and I just really love paper and pens and stationery all things stationery it really brings me joy but there are also some pros to digital planning such as being able to automate certain things so you don't forget being able to time block being able to have reoccurring tasks so on and so forth. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what system I am currently using. And I also wanna share with you guys kind of like a day or a week in my life. This video was partially inspired by people who wanted to see how I digitally plan and also partially inspired by people who wanted to see just how I'm able to manage all of the things. I do have a full-time job. I have a YouTube channel, an Etsy shop, a dog, a husband friends, I'm taking college classes. You know, I just kind of have a lot going on. It sounds like a lot when I say it out loud, but when I organize my time, my tasks, my to-dos, my events, my plans, my activities, it all seems far more feasible. So let's go ahead and switch up the gears here and switch to my computer screen. Okay, so we are inside of Google Calendar and this is a free service if you have a Gmail account. Obviously I have a Gmail account because I have a YouTube channel, but all you have to do is come over here to Google Apps, click on it, and then scroll down to Calendar and then it will take you inside of the Google Calendar. And I'm on this specific week because I have made it HIPAA compliant and I've taken out any, you know, HIPAA violations and whatnot. And so this is a safe week for us to explore. I have also changed the background to this marble background and I've added in some hex codes for some different colors. Those are not unique to the basic format of the Google Calendar, but I'll link a video down below so you can check out that video, which is what I did to learn about some extensions that you can integrate into Google Calendar to make it more functional for you. So I wanna start over here with calendars and I have a number of calendars, as you can see, they are all color coded and I have done that for a reason. And you could kind of mesh all of your information into one calendar, like I could put all of this information into this calendar, but it kind of makes sense if you just want to see certain stuff. So let's say you just want to see what's going on with your family for the week, then you can just uncheck everything and then you'll be able to see just your family stuff. So you can have one calendar or it makes sense to just add a number of calendars, which you can do quite easily. Also, I've added in my work calendar with my full-time job. There are a series of steps that you have to take to do that, but it's quite simple all i did was subscribe to my work calendar which is through outlook microsoft outlook so therefore every time that i make any changes over there it will eventually update over here let's just go through how i plan out my week and then we'll talk about how i plan out my day and i will say that because i'm able to make a lot of these events and tasks recurring it doesn't really take me that long to plan out my week or my day it takes no time at all i am out cold from 11 p.m to 7 a.m every night i'm actually in bed before that so it was quite easy for me to just go ahead and block out my sleepy time so I like to block out sleepy time for the week and as we all know I do kind of go back and forth with digital planning and paper planning so sometimes my week doesn't look exactly like if I'm really into digital planning then my week will be really full and really precise but other weeks like this week it might not be as precise as some of the other weeks i normally have a time for which i like to kind of wake up and get dressed and that's pretty much the same time every day except on fridays i don't actually go to my full-time job 
on Fridays. And during this week, my husband was actually employed elsewhere and he didn't have to go to work until 10 a.m. So I would make it my point to kind of slowly wake up with him and make him breakfast and all that kind of stuff. But his schedule has changed now. He goes to work before me. So that's why Friday looks different. And then the weekends always look different as well, pretty much because we kind of just slowly wake up. But I do naturally go to sleep at the same time every night and wake up pretty much the same time every day. So therefore it doesn't really change a whole lot. I just can slowly get up which is my preferred way of getting up instead of having to be on a time crunch. Every morning I like to do either a morning tidy or some kind of daily prep and that can be um, the morning tidy can be like cleaning up the kitchen or downstairs or some room or just kind of picking up from the night before really and then the daily prep can be doing a couple of tasks or just planning out my day just kind of something to make my day more productive because just going from getting ready and going straight to work does not work for me i also have a commute that i have put in here and then i have blocked out the time that i am at work i normally try to get to work before nine because then if i'm there before nine then i can leave early or sometimes work through my lunch so that i can leave early so my work week kind of fluctuates and changes and sometimes i'll work on friday or some other time so then i can flex out time so for this week i was committing to nine to four and what i love about google calendar is that you can stack events and tasks so we'll talk about that whenever we get into the day but the reason why you see all of these events and things on top of or alongside the work event that i have every day is because you're able to stack then i have my commute and then typically around this time around like 5 30 to 6 30 7 every day is when i can do like we will do walking or we will i'll do like some filming or some side hustle work or whatever the case is normally that happens during this week this week i wasn't feeling the best so i didn't really want to walk and sometimes if it's super hot i don't go out there nor do i take my pup out there so sometimes we just kind of skip and then we try to make up for it on the weekend also i know that i can work out without being rushed or feeling stressed friday saturday and sunday so i will reserve walking as you can see and things like that for the weekends and then pretty much after that we'll do dinner and then i'll start my evening routine i like to check in with our budget every day and like maybe watch some youtube or charmed or a tv show or something like that typically my husband does handle dinner for the most part, I feel like he pretty much does a lot of the cooking while I do a lot of the cleaning. That's pretty much what we have going on here, but I have it on my schedule, even though I may not actually be the one cooking the dinner. If that's the case, normally I'll go ahead and start trying to maybe clean up or maybe do some side hustle work. Just, you know, being proactive because I know for me, I just like to kind of get done the things that I need to get done so that I can kick up my feet and chill super hard every evening to decompress and rest and just get prepped for the next day because it is hard out here in these streets also normally i don't plan out my weekends as precisely as i as you see right now i just kind of made it my point this week to do that because i knew i would be using this week for um, youtube purposes so i kind of just wanted to share how i spend my time and what i do with my time i really love doing this because then i can kind of plan out when I need to do all of the things. And really, I don't even have all of my priorities showing for this particular week. I feel like I have more things that I have to do, like my classwork and stuff like that, but I didn't do any this week. As you can see, there are other obligations that I like to you know, try to get to, but I just have to kind of plan out everything. I do like to post twice per week for YouTube, usually on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So I really like putting the video in here. And then oftentimes I'll even go inside of the event and I'll actually plan out my actual videos. So that is really helpful as well as I am filming the videos because I can plan inside of this and then also reference it. For the events and reminders and tasks and things that don't have a timestamp or that you haven't delegated to any particular time, they will show up up here. So that is what you're looking at. These things were not super time sensitive as far as like me having to do them during the specific time of the day. I just knew that I did need to get them done on these specific days. So that is why I have thrown them up here or they automatically <laughs> go to the top. So now that we've taken a look at the week, let's go ahead and go into a day and we're gonna go into Tuesday. And I'm just gonna walk you through a day in my life, I guess. Again, sleepy time, wake up and make up, morning tidy, day prep, commute, all the same. I did have a really important meeting here. So that is what this is. And then typically I have a lot of things that I have to do as a result of that. So I have to like send out an invite after we schedule the next meeting and I have to send 
the stats from the meeting to my boss and so on and so forth. Also on this day, I needed to do some other work related things. And also I had to create and submit a sponsored IG story on this day as well. So that was important for me to put the deadline on here so I can kind of plan accordingly. Like, am I gonna wear makeup? Cause I normally don't wear makeup unless I'm filming content. This didn't require me to even get on camera. I just had to create a template and share that with them so that they could review that so that we would be all good to go whenever it was time for me to actually publish the sponsor content. We have this program and we give out gift cards if folks complete the program. So I needed to ask my supervisor about a gift card and then again, my lunch, same time pretty much every day. This day we had staff meeting. I'm not really sure why it's on here twice, but we did have a staff meeting from one to four. I wonder if we can delete one. Hmm. Probably not, probably not. I cannot delete events from my work calendar on Google Calendar. I have to go to my Microsoft Outlook calendar to make any adjustments or to delete or anything like that. I had to do some side hustle work and typically this is Etsy stuff. As you can see, it says fill orders because I do have time limits on you know when I like to get my orders out. So I like to try to get orders out every few days so that I'm not like super backed up and having to fill a million orders in one sitting. So I do like to block out some time to fill orders every few days. And then this day, because I knew I was going to be filming the August budget video this weekend, I wanted to take some time on Tuesday to kind of talk to my husband as we were you know, decompressing and chilling to finalize our August budget so that I could set up our personal budget and thereby share that with the world later that week on Saturday or maybe Friday, I think is when I filmed that video. So I, I like to kind of get things done couple days ahead of time, not waiting until the last minute. So this is my day all planned out. FYI, this is the same day, but it is the schedule view. I'm not really a fan of it. I could see how it could be um, worthwhile to some, but I am not a fan of the schedule, nor am I really a fan of the four days. I normally just like looking at the week or I like looking at the day. So this is actually the month view and we're in November because I know there's no HIPAA violations for the month of November because there's no way I have planned anything for November. I do like to plan out videos ahead of time if I can. So I know I'm gonna be publishing my December budget on this day. And also I have all of our bills in here. All of those recurring tasks have pulled over. Our paydays have pulled over. There are things that I do at the beginning of each month and those pop up every single month except complete classes. That's my deadline for completing the college classes that I'm taking, but there are some work to do's that I do at the beginning of the month, every single month. Trash goes out every Monday. I have our anniversary in here that pops up every year. So this is just really like a condensed version of what let's say August looks like or September because I have already planned out all of August. So as you can imagine, there's a lot going on with August. It probably looks like this times three because I have actual like appointments in there and all that stuff and I don't really have, I don't really know what my life is really gonna be like in November, but I really like being able to make these events and things recurring. There's no official reminders widget or app, but there is a tasks app. And so there are so many different tasks lists as you can see. And this is the task list for our family. As an example, we did that yesterday. I did that yesterday. I did that yesterday. Some of them don't have any day or time attached to them, but you can attach days and times to your task. So every Friday around Friday evening, I like to take inventory of what we have in our refrigerator and pantry and freezer. And then I like to order our groceries to be picked up on Sunday. So this is a recurring task. Otherwise you can attach days and times. And again, you can repeat them if you want. You can attach details. It is, I literally love it, I'm so obsessed. So these are tasks in the bluish color, which matches here, that's why they are blue. And then the reminders are also kind of like a bluish color and they are here. There's no huge difference between reminders and tasks. I just feel like reminders are things that I need to be mindful of while tasks are things that I actually have to do. But you can mark tasks as completed and then you can mark reminders as done. So no huge difference, but there is a difference. So again, the tasks and reminders aren't super different. So you probably can get away with not even using the reminders and just using the tasks, because as you can see, 
you can organize them pretty, pretty well. So that is my Google Calendar and my Google Suite. And that is how I am able to, you know, kind of stay on top of things and stay organized. What I've learned is that it's really important for me. I've known this. I've known this my whole life. But what I know is that it's really important for me to not waste time doing things that are not important to me. So like resting is important to me. And so chilling on the couch, watching Lifetime at nauseum is not a waste of time to me. That's something that I thoroughly enjoy, but I do not like spending my time doing absolutely anything that does not bring me peace, comfort, joy, happiness, euphoria, you get the point. So maybe I kind of obsess with making sure that I'm spending my time doing things that are priorities to me and important to me and going to help me achieve my goals. Or maybe I'm doing just enough. I'm not really sure, but all I know is that I really enjoy organizing my time, organizing my tasks, and just actively working towards ultimately living the life that I want to live. So this is just how I stay organized. I do have a question. I'm posing a question here. I want to know if you are a digital planner or a paper planner, or if you dibble and dabble in both and why. I just wanna know what your thought process is and what you enjoy most. But this is the other part of my planning system and something that I've really been enjoying doing and something that I wanted to share with you guys because I don't think I've ever shared it on YouTube. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.